Let's listen to this piece of tape. So, what do you want to be? Boy. We have, you sent us three tapes. Yes. And in those three tapes, you're interviewing the child. Right. And that was just a little snippet of the tape. I've got six minutes of those interviews that you sent. Right. That you sent as evidence that Aubrey wants to be a boy. Correct. Because you're interviewing him about wanting to be a boy right. instead of wanting to be a girl. I got a real problem with those tapes. I said I had a problem with those tapes. Yes. Listen to a minute of this and you'll see why. What are you right now? You're a girl? Do you want to be a girl? No. No? What do you want to be? Okay. You want to be a boy? You could tell your daddy you want to be a boy. Daddy won't let you be a boy? No. Did you tell him you want to be a boy? You got to tell him you want to be a boy. Do you want to wear boy shirts? Yeah. Yeah, you wanted to wear boy shirts? Yeah. But daddy made you wear a girl shirt? Your daddy says that you like to wear girl clothes when you're with him. No. You don't like to? No. But your daddy says that you, you like to wear these girl clothes. No. Come here. Come here. I'm not done. No. I know you're saying no, but come here. I want to talk to you. What do you think about that? I think it was just my proof that for Kyle that Aubrey wants to be a boy and he sends Aubrey home in those girl clothes and <clears throat> it's heartbreaking to see Aubrey like that. Well, you know what's heartbreaking to me? Interrogating Aubrey. It's heartbreaking to me is that you're that interrogating and hotboxing a four-year-old. You're saying, do you want to be a boy? You understand, that's a higher order cognitive level of thinking. Do you want to be a boy and all that that entails? What do you think a four-year-old understands about what that entails? Does that entail going to prom? Does it entail... Yeah. What, what I mean, he totally doesn't get that yet. I mean, right. you're asking questions to serve your agenda because you have a belief that that child wants to be a boy, just like you have a belief that child wants to be a girl. Do you think that she understands everything that means? No is I would strongly encourage them to um, avoid talking about toys as boy toys or girl toys or boy clothes or girl clothes, but instead just think about them as toys and clothes. Um, last time I checked, you don't have to have a penis to love Mario Brothers. <laughs> yeah, I think that's right. Isn't it